Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast, another quick hitter edition. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, today, we're going to talk about an unsolved murder mystery out of Boston. Susan uh, Tereskowitz uh, was murdered in September of 1992. Uh, anniversary is this week, and there's a lot of uh, reporting in the New England press. This is one of the more notorious unsolved crimes in New England history. And it's related to, according to my sources, mob activity that was going on at Logan International Airport that Tereskowitz was accused of ratting on, uh, snitching on, uh, giving information to federal authorities as well as airport authorities that led to the arrest of a group of wannabe mob guys that were working uh, as in the baggage handler uh, crew at Logan Airport, and they were stealing credit cards uh, from air mail freight that was coming through the Northwest Airlines terminal. Uh, Tereskowitz was the first female ground crew supervisor in Northwest Airlines history at Logan Airport. She had worked there for three or four years before her death. And according to my sources, the East Boston mafia crew were responsible for her murder. Uh, there have been no arrests, no charges. Uh, East Boston at that time, you know, a wing of the patriarchal crime family was, you know, rebounding from a, a, a major legal assault that took out a lot of their leaders, including, you know, the face of that East Boston regime for a long time, J.R. Russo. Uh, and at the time that Russo went to prison, you had Mark Rossetti, uh, come in and run that crew. Rossetti was a top echelon government informant nobody knew about. He was also a hitman and a, and a vicious killer. Um, now, I want to be clear, there's been no, uh, Rossetti has not been charged or implicated publicly in this, um, but there have been people that allegedly were kicking up to the East Boston crew that have been people that worked with Tereskowitz at Logan Airport, as well as two of the people that were involved in this uh, credit card pilfering scam. So uh, Tereskowitz uh, left her job post in the early morning of September 14th, I believe, of 1992. Um, she was working an overnight shift. She told her uh, employees that she was going to get them snacks at a 24-hour diner so she could go get sandwiches and never returned about six and a half hours later she was found in the trunk of her car in revere uh, the suburb of boston and she had been beaten to death and stabbed to death had a lot of issues at the airport with uh male co-workers subordinates two two specifically that became suspects in the case bobby brooks and joe nuzzo uh, bobby brooks was someone that she had a very short-lived romance with and then uh brooks and her next boyfriend were, were uh, getting into altercations there was vandalism uh threats of of physical harm uh, nuzzo was somebody that got suspended for six months for fighting uh, and uh susan broke up the fight and reported the fight he got suspended for six months he called her a, a fucking cunt i guess in front of a group of people, which got him suspended. He came back to work and was involved in the credit card scam, which he believed uh, Tereskowitz blew the whistle on. He got fired uh, in like September, September, in the first week of September, he was, uh, when he was fired. And then very shortly after that, within days, um, Tereskowitz was killed. Uh, Nuzzo and Brooks both deny any involvement. They've never been charged in the case, although they are suspects. There have been two grand juries that have convened on the case. Again, no indictments that have come from that. But uh, I'm told that East Boston was the crew that was at the top uh, of the food chain in terms of this, this, these rackets that were being run in Logan Airport, that they had a group of guys that 
were, were, weren't made guys or anything, just kind of uh, hangarounds, wannabes that were running rackets for them at Logan Airport. And where the, the order came from, uh, it, it's still unclear, but this was a East Boston crew that I'm told put Susan uh, Tereskowitz in her trunk and, and you know, made her trunk music. She was 27 years old, um, came from a, a Saugus, Massachusetts, someone who was a aspiring like cartoonist and uh, worked her way up pretty fast at Logan Airport from being one of the few female baggage handlers to being a, a ground crew supervisor. It, it, it elicited a lot of misogynistic behavior towards her, uh, which may or may not have played a role in this. I, I have no doubt that the belief that she had uh, turned this a group of wannabe mob guys running rackets at Logan into both the airport authorities and the feds led to her murder. It's very sad. Uh, I'll keep you updated with anything we hear on, on this unsolved New England homicide, but uh, Susan Ter uh, Tereskowitz um, was murdered 31 years ago. This week, I'm told it was a hit that was uh, that the East Boston crew was responsible for it. We'll see if there are ever any arrests. I'm told, and the public was told recently, uh, A, there's a $250,000 uh, reward for any information that leads to arrest, and that this is still an open case, uh, according to uh, Boston police and the FBI. So check back next time on another edition of the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm Scott Bernstein, out. Mm -hmm.